Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Commander Keen Invasion of the Vorticons, Marooned on Mars. When last we left off, we're still marooned on Mars, though we're getting a lot closer to not being marooned on Mars. There's this place that we haven't been to, there's this place that definitely looks like a final level, there's also that crystal place far to the north, and there is a city just over here. We were told by one of the shrines that there is a secret hidden in a city, and I imagine that secret is over here. So let's have a look in here, in a level that seems to have loads and loads of these charging enemies. I saw one, I may have seen another beneath it, but either way, let's see if we can... There's one over there, let's see if we can navigate our way through and grab all of the goodies that are here. It seems like the gimmick of this level is that we can avoid these if we let them fall down to areas where they can't get to us. I don't think we can avoid this one though. So we'll just wait for this one to uh, get over there, zap it, and then have a look over here. There are goodies here, and carry on. Don't mind me, I'm just heading this way. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind that I get an extra life either? I hope not. There are loads and loads of cans here, and I highly hope that Commander Keen isn't drinking all of them as he's getting them. That's a lot of fizzy pop. There are three more over here. And if we jump up here, there'll be more, I imagine. There's also an area over there. I don't feel like going over there just yet. If we do find the secret area, I do have to ask if uh, us going through to the secret area will complete this level. I wonder if it won't, because we won't have grabbed any part for the uh, ship. We probably won't. Let's see if there's an enemy up here. There is an enemy up here! Can we get the enemy to go over to here and down? Well, the enemy seems quite intent on going to that platform, but not over to this one beneath me. Every time the alien stops, the alien changes direction. If I went over to the far left, I imagine uh, that the alien would try and follow me. That's probably what the alien's trying to do right now. And right on the edge there, when just the tiniest part of the alien's foot is on the uh, platform, that's when the alien goes, you know what, I'll just turn around. I'm going to wait a little while longer, and then I'll give up, because it's only one can after all. Okay, if you're not going to play ball, I'm going to leave. How about that, Mr. Alien? You tried to charge at me. That's what you tried to do. Even though there was a wall in between us, you still tried to charge me. Good to know, I suppose. There are some cans up here, there's an alien over there, and I really don't want to risk, uh, falling onto the alien's head, so I'm going to ignore you and carry on. Carry on falling! Down here, and I imagine there are aliens. Yep, there's an alien over there. Don't want to deal with you, just want to grab more bonus points and carry on my merry way, and hopefully find where the secret is. Down here are more cans, there are three cans over there. Can we pick them up? Yes, we can! Get it? Cans? Can Never mind. Let's keep going. Grab this here. There are three here that I can get. And then, we'll just go over here. And that looks like one of two things. It either looks like a dangerous place where I'm going to die, or where a secret would be hidden. Let's see if I can, uh, get down here without dying. Is there going to be something at the bottom that will make falling straight down dangerous? The answer was yes, which is why I aim to the right. Aiming to the left would probably get me into some serious trouble. That thing is really loud, and you may think, well, I can't get over here, but look over there, there's a tiny speck there. And that tells me that there is a block there that is all but invisible. We'll jump over here and see what this does. Well, this is slippery, which isn't great. I wonder if I, uh, if I jump into that, it will freeze me. That's probably the gimmick here. There's also a robot there. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful here, because we don't want to fall into the, uh, into that fire. Let's right, time this right. And there we go! Aha! We're over! Uh, please don't kill me, robot. You didn't kill me! Marvellous, and we're away from that uh, ice launching sound. There's a teleporter here, and it brings me to here, where the secret level is. 
Let's go and explore the secret level. I really should have saved before I went into this place. Hello, you. How are you? You look so happy to see me, and now you're gone. So long. Let's try and jump past this. There we go. That's there for a reason, I imagine. Yep, that's why that's there. These friendly aliens will inevitably push me into those spikes, and I don't want that to happen. Goodbye, friendly aliens. I'm sure you're absolutely fine. You don't look sad when you uh, go down there, after all. Uh, the spikes are this way. No, that alien decided that he didn't want to go to the spikes. He went, you know what, I've changed my mind. No thanks. Can I jump over you? If I'm careful, I maybe can. Not here. Let's wait for you to go uh, that way so I can get past you. We will leave your fate undetermined. There's an area over here I could go and have a look at. And there's an alien ready to push me into the fire. Let's let that alien get past. The alien definitely jumped there. You're not actually going to uh, go over to the right now, are you? Nope, you seem intent to just walk into a wall forever. What if I go over here? Oh, that was not sensible. You're not actually going to uh, go right, are you? Nope, you're just going to go left forever. Maybe if I jump on your head, I'll be able to uh, get over there. Carefully does it. Carefully does it. There we go. And we can now get over here. And there's another alien waiting to push us into the fire. And you managed to jump over. Well done. Let's go over here, shall we? This may have been a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. But if I just keep pushing uh, to the left, eventually I can get past you. We don't want to try and get those uh, things that are right next to the fire. I could probably do it, but I don't want to take the risk that I'll fail and fall into the fire. Quite dangerous. So, there are some cans over here. I imagine this bonus level is just going to be absolutely full of points for me to collect. And I don't mind that. I don't mind getting lots of points. I don't mind getting lots of lives. I'm definitely going to need them, I imagine. We'll just go over here, over here, over here. There's pizza! Marvellous. Still not sure what flavour that is. And that alien is stuck there forever. Alas, poor alien, you will never escape, and I will never manage to make that jump. I probably will manage to make that jump, but not right now. Jump over here, and then... There we go! I did manage it in the end. There are loads of these aliens here. Absolutely loads of them. I'm going to have to wait for them all to come down here and, uh hover over here so that I can jump on all their heads at the same time. That's the hope, anyway. If it'll actually happen, remains to be seen. Well, I got one of them, and I managed to somehow get past the other two. Suits me just fine. Now we'll get all of these here. We can go up, or we can go down. What does going down here bring me to? Probably peril. No peril? No peril just yet, but I still imagine that there will be suitable amounts of peril. Over here is where we can go over here. Let's see what's over here, shall we? An alien to worry about? There's a can. There's that alien. There's pizza. Do I want to jump up here and risk landing on that alien? There's a book I wouldn't mind getting. But there's also this alien I need to worry about. Yep, there's that alien I need to worry about. I need to be much better at platforming than I currently am. And somehow I was better at platforming than I currently was. Success is mine! I want this alien to go over here, please. If you could fall over to here so that you're not in my way, like you did, that would be wonderful. Over here, over here, over here, and... We can grab more things! More cans. There are lots and lots of teddy bears there. What's the problem? Oh, I know the problem of getting those. Look at those jumps I need to do. And I missed that one thing there. I'm gonna go get that one thing, but I'm not gonna go get those teddy bears. That is a, uh, a trial in futility right there. I will not manage that if I try. We could fall down here. Get another extra life. I like getting extra lives, after all. And I could try and get up there. I could actually do that if I use the pogo stick here. There we go. We could 
jump over to... Actually, we really just need to head back the way we came, don't we? I think we do. And that involves going this way, me. Not the way that I was going. We have to get past all of these again, don't we? I think we do. That's going to be tricky. Let's see what we can do. We got past one. We got past two. And we got past three. Brilliant. They'll all be okay. We'll just keep going this way, and this is when there's a much faster way to get back that I'm completely missing. Either way, we're going this way. Over here. Down here. There's still one of those aliens left. And just jumping here means we're back on this side. This side that is probably absolutely full of things for me to grab. I could have gone this way. I could have gone this way! Remember when I was just saying, there's probably a way for me to avoid that fire? There was a way for me to avoid that fire, and I completely avoided it. Ah, well. We'll grab this, and if we're careful, we won't uh, fall too far down this area. But I probably won't be careful. At least there's nothing dangerous beneath me that will kill me. And then suddenly something appears. I don't think the game does that. But the game may surprise me at some point. Up we go, Commander Keen! There's a alien that's dangerous there. That said, we may be able to lure these aliens away. Probably not. Probably not. Let's go over here. Consider that uh, we have the pogo stick, which will help us out. Don't fall down there. Really don't fall down there. That would be a very bad thing. There are two dangerous aliens there that will try and kill me. There's lots of fire there. Now, don't want to go the way of the fire. Do want to go that way when that alien eventually manages to get past. I actually am unsure if the alien can get past. Okay, the alien probably can't get past, so we'll go this way down here. There's an alien there. There's an alien there I want to avoid, so mental note, don't drop down to there. Don't try and get those ones either. The exit is right over there. Okay, we can get that exit. We could drop down the middle one. The middle one seems relatively safe. I say as I then suddenly fall. Let's drop down the middle one. Lots of points, and that brings me over to here, where I can just start climbing up again. There's also here. Do I want to risk going here? Do I want to risk going down anywhere at this point? I'm pretty sure that I won't die if I try. I'm pretty sure I won't die. Nope, it doesn't seem like there's anything dangerous here. It just looks like it's a place where it's a little bit tricky to uh, get back up. But that's fine. There are also points down there I can go and get if I like. I probably should think about getting those points. After all, I... not like I can come back here afterwards. This place will be crushed by a done tile! There we go. Up here. Can't go up that way, not without the pogo stick. So we'll do this. And then pogo. Pogoing actually will not get me all the way up. So I'm just gonna have to go this way instead. Oh, using the pogo stick to actually navigate to all the places is quite dangerous. But we can use the pogo stick to get these uh, points. That's nice. And that point as well. What's the point of getting all these points, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's just grab them and carry on. We'll get rid of the pogo stick now, we don't need that. Over here. And over here to climb all the way back up. At least this time we don't have to try and grab loads of points while we're doing so. There we go. And there we go. A little bit further up, me. We can do this. We can avoid all of those books. I really don't want to try and grab all those books. Grabbing those books is a silly thing to do. Also, going this way is a silly thing to do. And yet I still have to go that way. Yep, I, I need to do this. And jump up like that. Get rid of the pogo stick. Jump up here. There we go. Just don't fall. I was really worried about falling there. I was really worried about falling. So I know that I don't want to go down there. I just want to jump over and over to here. Lots of points. Lots of points. Another life and the exit. The secret level has been obliterated. Time to use the teleporter. Which brings me back to here. We could go to that level that I haven't done before, 
more we could do this level than I have sort of done before. Let's save, shall we? I'm overwriting my backup save. It's important to do so. As I go back into here with loads more points, loads more lives, and grabbing even more ray guns. Very important to grab even more ray guns. So pretty much we're doing the same thing that we did before. Grabbing all of these cans, and just getting further than I was before. And remembering that this alien won't go away. So we just need to zap you. Aha! Get these cans and very quickly go past you. I still don't want to trust that uh, you'll stay uh, stunned while I'm here. You may end up deciding to try and kill me. That would be not great. Not great at all. Sort of zero out of ten on the great scale. We'll go this way. Just like we did before, and quickly grab all of the cans and all of the goodies. Because we like goodies, we like collecting things. Points are good. And we'll just ignore there, because we know that that alien is never going to leave that area. That's why there are four cans there. Or rather, eight cans there. Okay, are you going to move? Are you going to move over to the far left here, and then back? You know what, I'm not even going to wait. Not this time! This time I'm just going to keep moving. There we go. Over to here. And I'm not going to go up there, there's no point. We'll go this way, back down here, over to here, ignoring over there, even though over there is probably where the exit is, and this is when, that is when the, where the exit is, and then I get sad. Or, the exit is guarded by a key, and I need to go into here to go and get that key. That could very well be the case. It's a good thing, therefore, that you can navigate backwards in here. But at least I hope you can. We'll go over here, and this time when we get to the uh, place that brings us over to that secret level, we're going to avoid it. And it's quite easy to avoid. We just jump over. There's going to be something nasty, though, on the other side, isn't there? Oh, there is. I'm just going to wait. It's a long corridor. Yep. Game's going to do something like that, isn't it? Game's going to do something like that. I've got to wait for you to get a bit further away, zap you, and carry on. There's going to be a second one, isn't there? There is! Ha ha! Not this time. Oh, we do need to get key cards. We do. Oh, the alien's gone. So we do need to keep navigating around here. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate, but at least we know that when these aliens have been zapped, they don't come back. So we do need to go other ways. We need to find a way over to the, uh, one there. We can pogo up here, I'm sure. Yep, we can pogo back up, which is handy, because we're going to need to. Because we need to find a door. Do we have to go this way? I don't think we have to go this way. This way just leads over to an alien. But we'll go this way anyway, and have a look. We need to be exhaustive in our search. Would you like to come over here, Mr. Alien? No. It would seem like you do not wish to go here. You do now, though! Ha <laughs> ha! And that makes you fall all the way down to there. Alright then. We can fall here, we can pogo up, or we can zap the wall. I did not mean to zap the wall there. I want to jump here, don't I? Yes, I do. There are three cans here. And over here is... We probably want to go past you. We probably do. Yep, I think we need it to go past you. We don't want to go down there, though. And we don't want to go down here. So we'll just ignore these and instead head this way. More cans? One of those pipes that conceals an alien? Will the alien fall down here? I think the alien actually will fall down here if we're careful. And by careful I mean if... Nope, the alien won't. The alien will instead fall down here. Right, good to know. I hope that down there isn't where something we want is. And probably where we want something. Like where that keycard is. Okay, that's an area where they would hide another one of these aliens. But they didn't. They didn't. They could have done, but they didn't. 
and I'm grateful that they didn't. There's another key card here. We need that, I imagine. So let's uh, keep looking around. Go down here. Down here quite a lot. There are cans there. I probably don't want to miss those cans. There's a pipe here. Do I trust this pipe? Well, we need four key cards to get through here. We need four. And over here is where we could start using them. If we had the other two that are in the way. Oh dear. And when we come back, folks, we're looking for a key card. And hopefully this key card will not be hidden too dastardly in this maze. Suffice to say, I found the end of the maze and not the things I needed to get through to the end of the maze. Alas. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Turns out we do need to go down all those alternate paths, eh? Oh joy! Those aliens there, I'm gonna have to get past them. Fortunately, I have lots of ammunition in this ray gun. Will it be enough, though? That's the question. Will it be enough? Later.